Hey folks, I just wanted to show you a good example that I found here of a honey locust. So, I'm at a public park here in Pennsylvania, and they have a whole row of what looks like thornless and low pod production honey locusts here. Um, they're very mature, and you can see this is the canopy that's produced, and it's, it's middle of September right now. This is the canopy that's produced by one of those very mature honey locusts. Um, and I wanted to show you this right here is an offspring of one of those honey locusts. And I wanted to show you this because it's a good example of the kind of growth form you can expect from a honey locust. So this, I'd love to know how old this is, but you can get an idea here. It's how big it is around. So it's really not all that big, but it's probably, probably 15 to 20 feet tall. And you see it has a very dappled canopy, so a lot of light that comes through there. It doesn't have a whole lot of branching. Now I wouldn't choose this tree specifically for um, in a pasture because the genetics are probably such. Um, just given the trees around it, none of the trees have much in the way of pods. Um, these are going to be low pod production trees and genetically chosen specifically for that. But the shade that gets cast off of these is pretty fantastic. Um, and there could be use for these if they're, given that they're thornless and all of the all of their seedlings that have come up around here. Now you can't see that very well in the in the video, but um, they're all thornless. So there could be some uses for that in, um, in a browse situation. So it's good form. Honey locust is one of my favorite trees for silvopasture pasture because it has a good form, grows nicely, and it has such a dappled canopy. So that's the, that's the young one. And that's, that's a very mature tree. And you can see that there's a lot of light coming through that canopy. You can see a lot of air through there. Okay, very good. You have a good one.